Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a simple web browser in Visual Basic. Okay, first open up a standard .exe file and give it a decent size for a web browser. I'm just going to make my little font that size. Okay, now go on the sidebar, right click components, bring up this component window. Scroll down to Microsoft Internet Controls. Now, tick the box, then press apply and close. You should have a little world icon when you hover your mouse over it, say web browser. Okay, click on that, put it into your form, and yep, its name will be web browser one. If you want, you can just change it to web browser or yeah, I'll just make one web browser for it to be easier. Okay, add a command button and make the caption go back. This will be the button that goes back to the previous web page. Make the button, another button you could go forward. This will go, if you go back, it will go forward to the um, web page. So, go forward. Now, add a uh, text box. Call it whatever you want, it's going to leave one as text one dot text. Add another command button with a caption of go or whatever you like. It's going to be the button that you press, press that to go to a web page. Make this URL here. Alright, now another one called is just put the caption as home. This button will take you to your IE browser's home. And another button called stop. This will lock on the Firefox and Internet Explorer. This will stop the web page from loading. Alright. Now double click on the go back and we'll open up the code window. Okay, so First we're going to make an on error go to command, so on error go to error, because sometimes when you go back without actually browsing a web page you'll get an error which will shut down the program. If you use the on error go to error command it will stop that from happening and will display an error message box. So, let's add the command to make the web browser go back and we'll deal with that a little bit later. Okay, so web browser dot go back. That's just use the code to make the web browser go back. Now we've got to add the error thing. Oops. Get rid of that. So error. Now we'll probably have it display a message box. So message box there has been an error. We'll give it a BB critical and we'll give it a title of error. Okay. Oops. Before the before that section there, we've got to add an exit sub. That. We put that there, so if that is executed without any errors, it doesn't go onto that by itself. So, if you didn't have that, it would go, what, it would go, web browser one, web browser will go back, and then we will just go onto that and say there's been an error, even though there hasn't been one. Okay. So, time to go back to our form. Time for the go forward button. Double click that. It's basically the same. On error, go to error. And it's web browser dot go forward. Easy. And then the error thing again. Oops. Error. So we'll make it display the same message box. Let's give it a VB critical. And the title error again. 
Oops, got the exit sub again. Okay. So, that's the go back and go forward buttons done. Now we've got to do the go button there, which will make us go to the web page. So, it will be web browser, browser dot navigate, right, and then we'll put in brackets the text box name. Alright, so that means the web browser, that's the name of the web browser, should navigate to the URL in the text1.text box. Alright, we don't need the on error, go to error command here, because there won't be an error unless there's unless the user is doing something really stupid with the thing on, with the um, web browser. So yeah. Alright. Now what have we got next? Oh, the home button. This is another simple one. It's a one line of code, same as that one. It's just web browser dot go home. Alright. Again, we don't need an on error. Go to error command. Go back to form one and we have a stop. Simple, another simple one. It's web browser dot stop. Alright, we don't need an on error, go to error command again, because yes. Alright, now let's see if it works. If we go home, it will open up my Internet Explorer home page, which is the MSN home page. Yep. Now let's go to Google. Google.com.au. Press go, it will load up the Google Home. Here we are, Google. If we go go back, we'll take us back to the MSN homepage. If we go go forward, we'll take us to the Google thing. I can't really show you stop. It will only work if your web browser is slow, but as you can see, mine's not slow. Let's just try it. Oh, it worked that time. See, it didn't load up the Netherlands uh, Google. It's standing in the Australian one, even though I press go and then stop. See, alright. Okay, this has been my tutorial on how to make a simple web browser using Visual Basics. See ya.